over um, the essay assignment. Ooh. Um, okay, so I'm going to just read it to you. Again, sorry, I can't share my screen right now. But I'm going to read it to you, and then we're going to talk about how you're going to basically write this and where you're going to get the information from in your book. Okay, so choose one poem we've read so far and one element of poetry we've discussed. This could be tone, language, diction, figurative language, image, imagery, symbolism, and explain how the element of poetry, that element of poetry you chose, reveals the poem's theme. All right, so this is nothing, this is very much the same as what we've been doing, right? You're looking at a piece of work, you're looking at the literary elements that make up that work, and you're tracking one of them through the work, through the actual text with text evidence, to explain how it reveals the theme. Here's the curveball. Um, this could be an essay on the, well, sorry. <laughs> In addition to this, you must choose a secondary source that you've researched and found yourself to support your thinking. This could be an essay on the poem, an interview by the poet on the poem, a scholar discussing the poem, uh, the poet's biography, or the historical context of the poem or the poet, to name a few sources. So what I'm asking for you to do is take a position on the poem and then find someone who kind of shares that position about what the, you know, the theme is. Um, that's all I'll say about that for now. Um, so in your book, you are going to read on page, beginning on page 1923, um, you are going to read chapter 30, which is the literature research essay. It's important, it's vital that you read this whole chapter. If you still don't have the book and you can't find it online, please email me and I will summarize the chapter for you or, or we'll talk about it somehow. Um, so you have to read this whole chapter. Um, it will really help you kind of orient yourself to how you're going to do the research, what research you're going to choose, how you even write this kind of essay. Um, and you're also... The, the literary research essay is interesting because so far you've just done analysis of the literature, right? Um, what it's saying, what it means, and, you know, really doing a close reading. Now what you're adding in is this kind of other layer of analysis where you're looking at, you're, you're kind of panning back a little bit and you're looking at more than just the text itself. You're also looking at the writer and the, the historical context and so on and so forth. So there's three kind of main positions that you can take for a research essay. The first position is a critical context, um, which is where you would be looking up scholars who have also studied the same um, poet and using their words to support your idea. So say you think Kava Akbar's poem, um, The Orchids Are Sprouting All Over Everywhere or All Over the Place, uh, is about grief and loss and longing, and you think that he uses symbolism of the orchid to show that um, you should, if you're going to take this critical context, you would need to find another scholar who sort of supports that same idea um, in order to make this a research essay. I hope that makes sense. I don't think I'm being super clear right now. Um, I'm trying, but this is a little difficult. It'll make more sense when you read it, that, the chapter, um, for one thing. So the other context is biographical contexts. So that example I just gave a moment ago, um, if you were to research Kava Akbar and found out that he wrote extensively about a friend um, who passed away and the orchids were her favorite flower, um, then you would have a very excellent source to prove that your idea that the orchids symbolize um, grief and loss is the case, right? So biographical would be like you looking into the life of the writer to to support your thinking about what the literary device in that poem is doing to reveal the theme. And then finally, there's historical and cultural context. So this is like, you know, if you're reading um, a poem by a woman um, who is writing in the 1800s, it's a very, in, say that it's also this country and you're comparing it to the poem of women writing now, the poetry of women writing now, um, there are some things that are the same as far as the struggles women experience in female body people experience, but obviously in the 1800s, life as a woman in America was very different than it is now, right? And so the historical context and the cultural context um, matters tremendously to really every single kind of work. 
Um, the problem with the first and the last, both that critical context and the historical and cultural context, is if you're working on brand new poetry, there may not, if you want to write about that, there, there may, you may want to choose biographical context because there may not be enough scholarly uh, work, um, other people's academic work on the poem if it's brand new. And also, as far as historical and cultural contexts, that might be a little easier. But I will say it's difficult to name the historical context of a time in which you live. So there's plenty of things that are happening that are historical, including COVID and the presidential election. But um, the, the full impact both of those things will have, we won't see for years and years and years. And so it's hard to name what you're in. And so if you're using recent poems, both the first and the last context are going to be difficult. The other thing I want to say is that you're going to use all three of these most likely in your essay anyway, um, because they kind of are interchangeable. I'm only asking that you have one additional source, um, one secondary source outside of your own thinking in the text. Um, but the example I'm going to give you that's in your book for a literary research essay has many, 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 many sources. So if you want to use more sources, you certainly may. I'm going to ask that these papers stay between three and four pages still um, so that I can get through them all. And the last thing I'm going to assign to you, just have to look up the page number, is an excellent sample essay, which is... I wrote myself a note, but I didn't label anything. Hmm, I think it's on page 1067, but let me just double check. Yes, 1067. You are going to, remember when we read I2? Um, oh no, I'm sorry, this is, well, it's actually two. They'll see how beautiful I am and I too in the Harlem Renaissance. So this is a sample essay. Um, it's, a, it's a really strong essay as far as the research element is concerned. This person is looking at two poems by Langston Hughes and um, understanding and researching them in the context of historical context, right? Um, so I want you to read this as an example to get a sense of how to weave your research into your essay. Your chapter will tell you a lot about that too. If you have questions about that, feel free to email me this week. But that is your assignment. This assignment is going to be due um, 1120, which is a Friday. So that's unusual. Um, I did not want to assign something now and have it be due next Tuesday. That didn't sound fair to me. So you know what? I don't even know if the 20th is fair. Let's Let's say the 22nd, so that's a Sunday. That gives you um, a whole extra day to do it um, and, and kind of closer to two weeks. Um, so actually, what's stopping us from, hmm. I'm just gonna give you a full two weeks. I'm gonna say that it's actually gonna be due November 24th. Um, I didn't want to have anything due that week because I wanted to just take that off for Thanksgiving for you all. Um, but we would still be having a class if we had a class scheduled on that day. So why not have it due that day? That gives you two full weeks if you want to turn it in earlier. You know I always appreciate that. Um, and then that gives me time to get them done over Thanksgiving break because I'll have a little extra time then. You will have a new assignment on the 18th to read two new plays and you're also going to have a new essay assignment. So here's how I would structure my time if I were you. I would start the essay I'm assigning tonight right away, and I would plan to try to get it done by the 20th. Um, if I couldn't, I'd give myself that extra few days and get it done by the 24th. But next week when I assign the next essay, I would just dive right into the drama and not dry. Whenever I say that, it sounds like I'm asking you to create drama in your life. And goodness knows we all have enough of that. And I've certainly got enough of that. Um, so no, don't dive into drama in your life. Dive into the chapter on drama when I assign it, um, or when I assign the new pieces next week, and then there's going to be an essay with that. So I don't want you to, if you wait till the 24th to turn in this essay, it's going to kind of pile up with the next essay that's due, which will be December 1st. So your this essay you'll have time for. The next essay is a quick turnaround essay. It's really, I'm only giving you one week. 
Um, and at that point will be your third essay. Um, you will hopefully be getting feedback from me pretty quickly. That's another thing. If you hand it in by the 20th, I'll be more likely to get you feedback before you start it. If you hand it in the 21st, a uh, 4th, um, it's unlikely that you'll get feedback until that next weekend. And at that point, your third essay will already be due. So I'm going to say the 24th. I won't consider it late if it, you, I get it on the 24th, but I would suggest you actually do it early so that you can get feedback from me so that you can use that for your third essay. I know that was a little bit confusing, but um, really what you're doing is you are look, reading the chapter on the research uh, liter literature essay, um, and you are reading that sample essay on Hughes's poems, and I will put all the page numbers below. Um, and you are beginning to write your essay and choosing who you're, what you're going to research and what poem and what literary element and what theme you're going to talk about. Okay.